Hello and welcome to this Active Reach technical tutorial video. Today I want to talk about Cisco privilege levels. So just before I get into it, uh, this is a Cisco 881 uh, router running version 15.2. So just be aware that if you're running a different version, some of this might be slightly different, but uh, should be the same kind of concepts. So I'm logged into this router um, with a standard user and I'm currently on the non-privileged uh, mode, um, just user exec mode, which allows me to run certain commands. You know, I can do a show there, as I've just done. I can do a um, show IP route. I can do uh, show interface or show IP interface brief. Um, you can run certain things from this level without entering um, enable mode. And if you do a show priv or a show privilege at this level, you'll see that it shows that your current privilege level is one, which is the lowest. And if you go into enable mode, and do a show priv, you'll see that it is taking me from level one to level 15. And that's the default levels on a Cisco device, from one at the lowest through to 15 at the, at the high end. So what we can do, if we want, is we can add levels in between that. Um, so if we add a new user, let's go into configure mode and add Let's do username Cisco. And if you just do a question mark there, you'll see that you've got this option here for privilege. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do username Cisco priv three. I'm going to give it level three. You can see here you can choose which user privilege level to give it. Once you've done that, you then need to put in the password as usual. Okay, so I now have a new username that I've added. And if I come out of here and log in with that new user, it enters me into the, the hash prompt, but that's not that doesn't mean that I'm at the top level. So if you have a look here, you can see that I'm on privilege level three. It shows the hash prompt here rather than the chevron just because that's an indication that you're higher than level one. You're not in the normal user exec mode, but you're also not at the top. You can't run all commands from here. So you can still do a, a show there. And this will be exactly the same as the default for a level one. You won't be able to do a show run. You won't be able to do a reload. You won't be able to enter the configuration mode. But it's quite common to want to say, um, add additional commands to the defaults and customize your, your exec levels, which is what this feature is for. We can give this user certain privileges. Um, let's say we want to let them see the running configuration or we want to let them uh, enter certain config commands. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go, so just another note as well. If the user has the enable password, they'll always be able to override that. The enable secret will always override. No matter who you're logged in with, it'll always override that privilege level. So just, just bear in mind, if you give out the enable secret, then they'll always be able to get to level 15. So the idea of these privilege le levels is that they won't have the enable um, password. Otherwise, they, they could just do what I'm doing here and just enter enable mode. So let's go into here and we are going to give this user the ability to add, uh, to run additional commands. And to do that, we do privilege exec. And we are changing for level three. And now we put in the command that we want to allow this person to run. So let's say we want this person to be able to view the config but not make changes. So we want to give them show run. Now this is quite a common thing that you might do. You come in here and you add show run to this, um, to, to their options. And the hope being that when they log in, 
they'll be able to now do a show run. So let's see what happens. I'm logging in with that user and I'm going to do show run. And now look, it's got a blank output. So this can be a bit flummoxing to say the least. Why has it given us a blank output? Now when we tried this earlier, um, when we tried this earlier, wherever it was, there you go. You see that we actually got an invalid input detected. But this time, it's actually let us run that command and it's not given us an error. The command has run. So there is a difference between what it's done and what it did before. Before, it didn't allow that command at all, but now it has allowed that command. But why do we have blank output? So let's troubleshoot this further. Let's go back in to fully privileged mode. <clears throat> and let's allow this user to do a show start as well. So that's to do the show to, to show the uh, startup config rather than the running config. So to do that, we're going to do priv level, sorry, priv exec level three show start. So that user should now be able to do a show start. Ah, now, it's given us an error this time. Error opening nvram startup config permission denied. See now, this is a bit of a clue as to what's going on here. The reason we can't do a show run and a show start, even though we've allowed this user to do so, is not because they can't run those commands. They can run those commands, but they can't access the files that are in the, the NVRAM. That's the problem. So what we need to do is we also need to give the correct level of file permissions. This is an easy step to miss if you're, if you're doing this. So remember, when you're in privileged mode and you're giving this user their read access, you also need to add in comp mode file privilege level three or whatever level that you're changing. Yeah? That then allows them access to the files to view the config. So if you come back out of there, log in with our new user. Users at privilege level three. And if you now do a show start, you can see that the startup config can be viewed. And if we do a show run, now hang on a minute. Show run is not showing the whole config. It's only showing this bit. Why is that? Now this is actually by design. What 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 you might not realize is that when you do a show run. It doesn't actually just view the config. It shows the configuration, including the commands that you have access to change. And this user has no access to change anything. So it's only showing him this default extract. So you can see we're getting a little bit further, but we still can't look at the running config. However, we can look at the startup config. So that might be good enough as a workaround. You can give the user access to look at the startup config, but not the running config. And that might be fine. But there are other ways to view the config. There are other commands that you can use to view the config. So we could just add those instead. But just to demonstrate what's happening here with the show run, I'm going to give this user the ability to make a change to one part of the config, just to show you what happens. So I'm going to go back into enable mode to give myself privilege level 15. And I'm going to go into configure mode. And I'm going to um, I am going to give this user the ability to enter comp mode. 
a level 3 is now going to be able to go into conflict and I want to let this user only configure so instead of the execute we're going to do configure um, level 3 and we're going to give them commands to do clock all so the all means all anything to do with clock they're going to allow them okay so they should go in and be able to change clocks okay so let's come out of that log back in with the other user now when you do the show run now you can see the difference is these commands are now appearing which didn't appear before that's because this user has the ability to change those if the user went in to conf mode they would be able to change the clock because we've allowed them to do so and that's why that shows up in the running config so it's a bit confusing it can be a bit misleading what's happened it might be preferable to say instead of doing, uh, instead of doing uh, giving them access to change things and, and giving them access to do the startup config, say, well, how can I just let them look at the running config? Well, to do that, we are going to add. Am I still in? No, I'm on, on, on the wrong one. Let's log back. In. Let's go back into full enable mode. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to give them access to, to, to view the config in other ways. So priv exec level 3, we're going to give them show running config view, which is actually another way of looking at the config, do a view, and we're also going to do a view full. What else can we do? We could also say a show conf. So let's give them show conf. Uh, and also a more system running config. We could do that. So more system run. All of these commands allows you to basically view the config. So we're just going to give them a little bit more. But just, you know, most Cisco engineers are used to just going in and doing a show run. So as long as they understand, they can't do that. They have to look at the config a different way. Okay, so let's go back out of there, log in with our user, our level three user. We are at level three, and we should now be able to do a, a show run, which will only show us what we can change. A show run view and that doesn't give us the whole thing but if we put in all oh, hmm, uh, show run, oh sorry uh, I mean full get it right Then you can see the full config, and we can also do a show conf, and that also gives us the configuration. Although, just a, a word, when you do show conf, that actually gives you the startup configuration, not the running configuration. That's worth uh, bearing in mind. And also, we should be able to do a more system running config. Uh, running. Like so. So there's several ways there which we can which we can view the config at a different level to the full level. And essentially what we're doing is we're giving a user read only access to the configuration of your device. So hopefully that's been helpful. And another uh, point just to point out at the moment we're looking at this in um, the not the AAA new model. We are on no AAA new model. 
So the login, the logins can change if you're using the new model. Um, and if you are wanting to do it with the new model, you do have to make sure there's a subset of commands that you need to enter, um, just so that you're aware. If you just go in and do new model, it can actually make things, it's, it's a bit weird, it's like a bit of a bug actually. I'll just demonstrate what I mean. If you go into enable mode, let's go back to level 15, change this to AAA new model, Come out of that, log in to Cisco. Cisco, this is our level three user. Yeah, you see, for some reason, when you en when you enable AAA new model, it's taking that user, even though this user, and now I've got full access to things, even though that user is quite clearly set as privilege three. Even though that user is set to privilege three, when you log in, if you don't configure the AA new model properly, then there's this little bit of a glitch on there. You need to put in these additional um, parts of the AA authentication, which are as follows. Authentication login default local, Authentication enable, default enable, authorization console, and exec default local. And now, when we log in with our level 3 user, they'll be correctly set to the privilege level 3. So that's quite important, just to make sure if you're using AA new model, you do need those additional commands in there. Otherwise, as previously shown, if you're using no AA new model, then it works um, just the same as well. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any additions, you can add them in the comments. Um, I know there are other ways of doing this. There are different levels to the enable secret, I believe, which I, I haven't done in this lab, but maybe another day. Um, and I know that, that this is a bit of a fiddly area um, and lots of people have found challenges with this. So hopefully that's been helpful. And thank you very much.